hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is oluchi a makeup artist and an esthetician based in london so in this video i am going to review the dr jats ceramidine skin barrier moisturizing cream to be honest i got this as pr and i was somewhat excited to try this out because i've I know I usually see Dr. Jad's products. Like I heard, I've heard nice things about their products and to have received this, I'm like, okay, oh, finally. I'm so thankful. Not only will I try it out, I'll also, you know, try it out and do a review, let you guys know what this product is all about. Just basically everything about it, how to use it and if I think it's worth it, the pros and cons, you know, cause that's what I do here on my channel. So first things first, you get 50 ml worth of products in this and I have used this for about two weeks, like on daily basis. So I use it morning and I use it at night time. So I've used this quite long enough to see how it works. Therefore, that's why I am here to you know, give you a review to let you know if it's worth it and all that. So basically, I'm just going to read a few points from the internet and everything. So basically what this cream does is that it smooths, nourishes and locks in moisture and provides deep moisturization and comfort for dry, dull, skin while strengthening the skin's moisture barrier and yes what do i have to say about this so okay before i talk about this product i'm going to let you know what quantity of product you get the price and all that so you get 50 ml worth of products in here and this costs 32 pounds on the website where i'm checking it so it's quite pricey but i will let you guys know if it is worth it or not and this is a korean product and we know that korean products are like number one i love me korean products like they can <laughs> they can almost not go wrong for me so when you open it up it's almost like i won't say toothpaste because the container is a bit thicker but it's just you know like that <laughs> almost like toothpaste container and then when you open it up you just press out the product i would say it is really rich yes i'm mising it i do not want to you know waste it so this is what you get is light brown in color and then when you you know spread it onto the skin it really you know it really spreads out evenly and it barely has any scent to it to be honest i'll say it doesn't have any scent but one thing you notice immediately after rubbing it into the skin is that your skin instantly feels very moisturized and supple like it doesn't leave the skin feeling greasy at, greasy at all it's my my the back of my hand feels very you know well taken care of the back of my hand feels well taken care of now just by applying that little amount so i would say that this is this lives up to you know what it claims it is actually a skin barrier moisturizer because it, it feels as if you know it feels as if it has sealed in it has sealed the skin but not in a way that the skin feels choked or you know not like the skin feels um choked the skin instantly my skin instantly feels soft and moisturized and that's what i will say so now that and thankfully i received this in this winter period because the weather is very severe it is so cold and really drying and i find out that using my regular moisturizers mm -mm, does not cut it for me so that's why i've been using this every single day you know morning and night and i'm actually mising it because i've seen the price the price is not cheap at all so this is very good for people with dry skin you see if you have dry skin and you're struggling you know when you use moisturizer you do it's a if it did not do anything this is that product that would give you the kind of results you want and over time like when you consist when you use it consistently your skin will be in a much better place because it has a way of looking after the skin and so from the name ceramidine clearly it's from ceramides it's from the word ceramides and ceramides are known to protect the skin barrier and the skin barrier is what prevents a moisture loss so when the skin barrier is impaired like when you hear that oh someone's skin barrier is impaired or is broken it's just like the skin is just open to anything so what are, there's excessive loss of moisture then a lot of rubbish can then you know penetrate into the skin that's why when your skin is 
impaired your skin barrier is impaired that's when you start breaking out you start seeing funny rashes you start starting all sorts so that's when um ceramides come in ceramides are that ceramides really help to you know protect the skin barrier you know to prevent the skin from losing moisture and also prevent unnecessary things from penetrating into the skin so and this it says to contain five ceramides and panthenol so it's paraben free sulfate free it's hydrating and nourishing and the skin type that this is for is dry skin but i have oily skin but this season this weather is so severe so my skin tends to be dry and flaky so the, this is very beneficial to me so if you if you have other skin types and you find out that your your regular moisturizer is not cutting it out for you i would say you know switch to something rich like this oh and let's not forget this is also really good for people with sensitive skin so now let's talk about the pros and cons i believe i've mentioned a lot of pros but let me reiterate it once again before i mention the cons the pros include that it is really rich it does not feel greasy it doesn't contain parabens and sulfates so it is really suitable for people with dry skin or with impaired barrier in my opinion not just dry skin impaired barrier if you find out that you're suffering your skin barrier is impaired and one of the ways you know your skin barrier is impaired is that even when you use the most gentle products on your face your face starts to sting and burn you know intensely then that's one of the characteristics of impaired skin barrier and also when you find out that you have all these rashes that you cannot explain and then your skin burns and feels very raw you know even when you sometimes when you pour water use very mild products then your skin is impaired and of course it's your skin looking really dry and all that so and another pro is that it little goes a long way and like i said i'm very thankful that i got this at this time because you know it's really it's that product that i have been using religiously and i would say that yes you can use it morning and night but if during the day you find out that your skin is drying out you can proceed to applying it especially if you're home if you haven't got any makeup on you can just apply some of this to soothe the skin so it has such amazing benefits and so for the cons the only con for me is that it's expensive 32 pounds is quite pricey <laughs> that's it but i mean that's not a problem if you can afford this and if you are desperate to find that product that is you know calming soothing really hydrating and nourishing it's absolutely worth it otherwise it is quite pricey <laughs> that's it that's the only con for me will i be repurchasing this to be honest to be 100% honest, if I did not have a lot, a stash, a huge stash of skincare products, thanks to PR, I think, hmm, and I have like extra cash to splurge, I would absolutely purchase it. But I'm being 100% honest. It's not something that I would rush to repurchase because I have a huge stash of skincare products. And as an esthetician, I know how to, you know, and work my product and so how to incorporate this into your skincare routine is after cleansing using your toner your serums you want to proceed to applying this all over your face and do not forget your neck and then that's in the daytime after applying this you end with your spf it's a must wear your spf then at night time you cleanse tone use your serums or your treatment then end with this apply this generously on your face especially at night time you know and i yeah, forgot to mention this because i use tretinoin and tretinoin is known to be very drying this pairs well with tretinoin in my opinion like with this i don't have any worries of you know excessive dry drying of the skin so this pairs well with tretinoin and it will pair well with retinol to be honest this pairs well with practically everything and the makeup I have on now, I have this underneath my makeup, so this pairs well with your makeup. Yes. So I have come to the end of today's video. I hope you found this video really helpful. Have you tried this before? Are you considering getting this? If you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. And with all that being said, I will catch you in my next one. Thanks for watching.